Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors, new videos every Saturday, so if you don't want to miss out on your Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, make sure to click subscribe, check my channel every Saturday for new videos. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate all of you who watch. It is dangerous to release too much of my awesomeness all at once. I'm really good at breaking shit and I'm really good at losing shit. I'm the reason I can't have nice things. So I'm going to show you how I've got my archery range set up, and this may help you guys out. First of all, you're going to need a walking wheel or a yardstick. You're going to need some baler twine, a whole bunch of it, or some 550 cord, a whole bunch of that. Thing is, I've got a milk jug here. I use this to wrap my baler twine around it. I took a walking wheel and laid out 50 yards worth of baler twine and I've got five pieces of duct tape on the baler twine and I've got a paint mark here on the ground. That way I can mark out my known yardages without having to worry about having a range finder. Now you can do it with a walking wheel or you can do it with an actual yardstick but you're going to need 50 yards worth of cord in order to do it so that you can go 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 and then just mark your cord and then put a paint mark on the ground. It's just that simple. Now again, you're going to need to buy a walking wheel and you're going to need to have that shit but if I lose the twine spool that I got, I'm not out what I would have for a range finder. I either break them or I lose them. I'm just really good at screwing shit up because I'm text fucking grabbing. Anyway, so I've got a Coldwell gong stand here. And I've got what I'm going to refer to as an archery gong hanging off of it. This is a McKenzie crossbow stop. It's going to give you a reactive sound and it's going to sway when you actually hit it. I just measured this out so you can see I've got my twine string tied around it where I went and pulled it back and put my marks on the ground. So this here is my super awesome next generation style tactical quiver. Because when you got a back quiver, you pretty much feel like Robin Hood. But this is a Condor shotgun scabbard right here that I cut to length and belt punched the end and stitched it up with some fishing line. And this is an Alice harness that I cut apart. And here you can see I spliced it wove it through the molly, spliced it again, wove it down through the molly, and I went to Hobby Lobby and I got some fast techs so that I didn't have to worry about those noisy ass Alice snaps. Stitched that on there with fishing line and I cut one of the pals here and stitched another one on so that I could run my cross strap for my chest around there. So while I'm getting set up back at 30 yards, I want you guys to check out just how fast I can empty this quiver. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I'm shooting at about 8 yards in the backyard, but hey listen, I'm having fun.
Now rarely if ever will you see somebody do a long range archery video on the first take. It is kind of exciting how that bag will pop when the arrow hits. And that's the sound of disappointment. Now you see, I really struggle with long range shooting with a bow. I mean beyond 20 yards. Because honestly, some guys want to brag about how far away they can kill them with a bow. I'd prefer to be able to brag about how close I killed them with a bow. I want my arrow to be on the other side of that critter's lungs before he even hears the string. The one problem is, when you get into competition, hunting ethics go out the window. Hunting, you get to pick your shot. Competition, you got to shoot from the peg. Hit. Hit. Probably better end on a high note. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, God bless all my sports from America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please become my friends over at SOETacticalGear.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. Thanks for watching. Thanks for grabbing your outdoors.